Here is a complete guide to counter Lava Golem from level 1 up to level 15. Let's start off by breaking down his abilities and see how to counter them one by one. So the Lava Golem got exactly 7 abilities, 8 if you count his first ability which never changes also known as the super. Now starting with the super ability which deals a ton of damage you can simply counter it with mini P.E.K.K.A dissipate. Protecting your mini P.E.K.K.A and making sure the boss doesn't get any super is very important and can win you the whole round. Another counter is the ice wizard as slowing him down will buy you the time to burst him dead before he gets any super down. Stuns work surprisingly well against him if you have a good amount of them on your troops as it could allow you to keep stunning him so he gets no supers off. Final effective counter is the witch as the super targeting 3 skeletons is basically a wasted super. The second ability is lava smash and it adds 50% chance to stun on the super's fireballs. Since it's an effect to his super, everything I said about countering the super ability can actually be applied to this one. Third ability is Lava Burn and it adds Dissipate on his super so in addition to whatever counters the super you may as well make sure the tanks soaking this damage don't really have a super bar like the P.E.K.K.A. Ability number 4 is Lava Frenzy and it's one of the stronger abilities and it gives him an 8 second rage at the start of each round. One of my favorite hard counters for this is the Prince as you can push him all the way back and even stun him for 4 seconds which will waste a good chunk of his rage. Speaking of stuns, the Bowler does have a 2 second stun but if you go with the second star it becomes 4. It might be less effective than the prince as it doesn't push him all the way to the back of the board and more of a big investment in elixir but it's worth it if you can hit other things behind him. Another less of an effective counter but still pretty considerable is the royal ghost. You can hide all your troops with the royal ghost and the boss would stare at the wall for 2 seconds wasting 25% of his rage. The last one I can think of is not really a counter but more of a pro tip. If you have no special counters place your troops all the way back so they would waste a few seconds walking to the boss so he doesn't attack them when the rage is activated. Next one is Lava Body and it's also one of the most annoying and strong abilities the boss has. This one makes him so you can't stun him, you can't slow him down and you can't push him back. Even the knight's second star doesn't work on him. But the solution against him is mainly to take out his minis first and dissipate him which is usually encouraged in all raids anyway. You can also abuse the witch against this ability as the witch can be absolutely broken against the boss. Ability number 6 is the lava soldier ability. Remember when I told you about the witch being absolutely broken against the boss? Please don't use the witch against this ability unless you want to get a world record in losing. Also against the lava soldier you can use the giant skeleton since when a soldier spawns he will explode immediately. Other than that there's nothing really much you can do besides making sure the boss doesn't get any KOs so maybe use tankier minis. Ability number 7 is Lava Justice and it's basically a boss that can stack up to 5 times making the boss deal 9 damage per hit and it's one of the harder abilities to deal with. There's two ways of countering it, playing carefully like a pro making sure you don't lose any minis and use your skill or witch spam. So for playing carefully you can benefit from the stunts and slow from the ice wizard to make sure the boss barely gets any damage. You may also need mini packet to dissipate the super because my god that thing deals 6 damage to 3 minis making it a total of 18 damage. Another very pro trick that I use every time in round 1 is that I would place a monk here and place a mini packet one tile below the boss but in front of him. That makes it so the boss would target the monk first and by the time Monk is almost dead he will stun him and the stun will cause the boss to retarget on the mini P.E.K.K.A keeping the Monk alive and making the boss gain absolutely zero posts. Now for the witch spam it's pretty explanatory if the boss deals 10 damage or 2 damage what difference would that make on a skeleton? Absolutely nothing. You can also use a ranged hero with the witch as all your tanks would be shredded with his 9 damage per hit anyways. The 8th and final ability is Lava Strike which throws a fireball as a clash ability at the most far away mini from the boss. This ability despite seeing much complaints about it is one of the easier ones to deal with. It might be annoying in round 1 but late game it's straight up free wins. You can tank the fireball with the spear goblin as it's not fast enough to cancel the clash abilities and it also works on bowler or fisherman if you must. With the miner he can completely dodge it at certain placements but some other placements would cause the fireball to follow him. Works either way as you protected your important troops anyway. As for the prince the fireball is always following him until he stops charging but it's still something to consider as it would help taking the fireball away from your other minis. But don't do this though. Don't do that as well because the invisibility is not fast enough 
to dodge the clash ability. This one is pretty awesome, you can use a 1 star golden giant as after taking the fireball he will heal back again and maybe even help with the enemy miners or archers. So after discussing all the abilities, what minis and heroes should you be using? For heroes, I think monk and barbarian king are equally amazing. Use the Barbarian King when you have fast attacking troops and use the Monk with slower armies. Royal Champion can be okay if you're gonna go Witch Spam, but I think maybe Barbarian King would be a better option. Now for minis, the best ones based on the boss abilities are the following. Barbarian for crazy DPS paired with Barbarian King. Miner to avoid the clash and snipe some annoying minis. Spear Goblin because of how much value he provides. Ice Wizard is a must have in all raids except when the boss is immune. Swordsman is amazing at chain stunning the boss as he gets his super back every KO he does. Giant Skeleton is a great tank to use in any raid. Mini Pekka is a must have for his dissipate. Dart Goblin can act as a full carry if you protect him enough. Bowler can get so much value like the Spear Goblin. Golden Giant is a great tank for stalling and soaking damage. Royal Ghost can help control the board with his clash ability. Fisherman can help you get rid of that one pesky little annoying Dart Goblin in the backline. Prince is awesome to get the boss out of your way. Pekka can deal some unreal DPS against the boss. Magic Archer can get you so much value as you can angle him the way you want. Mega Knight is, well, enough said. Which is broken against every single ability except the Lava Soldier one. That's about it. If you have any questions or any issues with the boss raids, I will be hopefully responding to every single comment under this video even if it was months late. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.